All right, students, Brian Proctor back again, ready to teach another lesson, another exciting lesson. So this one is action post position of the week number 38. And this is kind of a cut and dry position. Pretty simple, pretty cool. And uh, I go into great detail about doing this. So it should be no problem for you guys to follow along. None whatsoever. So with that in mind, with that in mind, well, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Okay, so this is the final ink product. So as I say, it's a, it's a pretty cut and dry position, pretty cool. So, but I wanted to add a little something to it to just make it a little more dramatic. So this is it. He's powering up and he's about to tear some stuff up. So if you like that and you want to draw that, there is some good detailed instructions that goes along with this. So enough of me, let's get drawing. All right. So I'm going to try this. This is going to be a kneeling, kneeling pose and I'm going to mark off my points where I don't want to go out of. And I'm going to do this real quick to start out with. And then I'm going to break it down to you guys. Because um, it's best to do a, a quick sketch than a, a slow. Because whenever I do slow, I'm too stiff. So start out with the, the um, torso, of course. And then that... And then I'm going to curve it a little bit here. So because he's straight, I could use the ball or I could use the tuna can. But since it's kind of crooked, I want to uh, use kind of a ball on this. And already that's kind of high. So let's continue to do the sketch. So oval for the legs, one leg is going to be up, the other leg is going to be down. Leaving room for the crotch. This leg is going to go back and the foot is going to be about right here. Right there. So this one's going to go up and this is going to go down and it's going to be above. That foot is going to be above that line. This is the knee hitting the ground. So this foot, this one's gonna go back a little. Not straight down, but back. And then the foot is gonna be about right here. Like so. And then I might adjust it a little bit. So again, this is too high. It's torso. So I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. So when you lean down, you're gonna see that triangle. That's the only time you're gonna see it is when you're leaning down. So it's gonna be leaning down a bit. So delts here. Arms are going to go back and out, like back behind him, and then come out about right here. And then I'm going to have his fists. So this one is going to go out, back right here, and have his fists about right there. So this cat could be power, power, power ring. Why can't I say that right now? Power ring, power ring up. Or just mad and about to just get ready to kick some butt. Bring this out a little bit more. And of course you have that V right there for where, how, the thickness of the neck. That's as wide as you want the neck. And then you want the head. And I'm going to bring the head down a little bit because... It's kind of like ready to pounce. So you don't want the neck, the head way up above the shoulders, too far above the shoulders. And of course the shoulders. So the chest is going to be about right here and then up. And bring that leg up a little bit more. So the leg is going to come. Up there. I don't want to give him tiny legs. There's the knee. 
right here. And as I said, that leg goes back. So that is the position I'm working with. And I'm looking at it in my monitor to see what I might want to improve on. Start at the muscles. And I had a viewer ask that I have any uh, videos on where to place the muscles. And I tried to respond to you. Uh, if you're seeing this, uh, I forgot your name. Um, but basically all of my videos are show you where to place the muscles. And I mean, that's 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 the part about drawing. You need to know where the muscles go. So if you can look at, just look at basically any video where I'm drawing the anatomy, it shows you where to place the muscles. So um, there are a few that maybe focus more on placing it, and it would be some of the ones that are like how to draw arms or how to draw with this or how to draw in specifics. Not so much the action post position uh, drawings, but the ones that specify drawing a certain thing, it shows you how to draw the muscles. So yeah, if you are watching this video and you're wondering, do I, or if anybody wondering, do I do show how to draw muscles? Yes. Or how to place the muscles? Yes. So let me do this real quick because that was a quick drawing. And if anybody was trying to draw this, they have no idea what I was doing. So basically, torso, I mean, everybody knows that if you watch my videos, if you st stay with me, torso, center line, uh, usually you go across for the collarbone and the mountain, as I call it, right there. It's basically like a, a big mountain. And from here to here, when you go straight down, your chest comes just above this point on top of the mountain, just above that, and then it curves right here and goes up because the arms are right here or the delts are right here. And the delts are that part of the, the top part of your arm, you know, your bicep and then your forearm. So when you lean down, this is straight pretty much. If you're standing straight up, if we're standing straight up having a conversation looking at each other. But if I lean down like I'm looking at my shoes that are untied, that straight line is going to become a V, a diamond. So I said diamond because of the back of your, your shoulder. It's going to become a diamond. So your neck is going to be placed lower down like that. And that's the only time. So when you lean down, of course, this has got to come down more. And uh, you you probably see less of the mountain. The mountain will drop down as well. It's like, what, what, what? I can't think of it right now. If there's a hole right here in the top of this egg, and you twist, drop that egg down, that hole is going to be here. So everything that was down here, like if there was a stripe, there's a hole at the top of this egg, and there's a stripe right here. Now, when I drop that egg down, when I lean that egg forward, say I wanted to pour out some of that delicious egg yolk, and I tilted that egg down where the hole is here, where that line is going to be right about here. Same thing with the chest. When you start dropping stuff down, when you tilt up over, everything's going to tilt more, and this is going to show less as well. So with that, I gave you the waist, keeping it round because he is leaning a little bit. So that's going to be round. And if you've seen that, I call this the tuna can. I, I do my waist like this. If he's standing straight up and down, it's like that. So basically, it's kind of like a tuna can or a hockey puck, the whole thing. If you draw the whole thing, it's like that. But if not, then what I call the upside down house, which is the uh, shape like an upside down house. So but you're keeping all of that round. And you don't want to go too too tall because he is leaning over. This cat is leaning over. So that's why I shortened it because it was a little too long, but I'll leave that there. The leg is an oval. It's just an oval. It's coming up, up at an angle like that. And that one is the oval as well, coming down. Two ovals. That's it. Now, later on, I'm going to do a video to show you how the actual uh, shapes of the muscles because that's a that's a one thing that a lot of people are, are having trouble with the basic shapes of, of the muscles where they bend it go in and where they come out so this one is just a cylinder coming down and I'm not trying to redraw this I'm just trying to show you real quickly what I did and this one is a cylinder going back usually if you um, kneel down 
Your foot is usually right there at your buttocks. Your heel is at your buttocks. And so when you do stuff like this, you just have to make sure this is not too long or this is not too short. Usually if it's in perspective like this, you shorten it a little bit. But this one's not in perspective, so it's, it, will, it will come out the, its full length, shall we say. And this is going back. Now, if I took this knee and if it wasn't going out this side to where you can see in between his legs, if his leg was right in front of you, it would be more like this. It's going to be up either way. So it's going to be more of an oval. The knee is going to be directly up and it's going to come down like that. And of course your foot, you'll see the front of your foot. So basically that was just an oval. An oval, yeah, oval, not cylinder, yeah, oval, but more egg shape, <clears throat> more egg shape like that because this part of your thigh this part is going to be fatter than that part. So it's going to come out like that. Do a circle for your knee. And then cylinder straight down, making this wider than that. And then your foot is basically half a triangle. So if you did a whole triangle, it would be like that. So just straight down from that leg. Your ankle is going to be here. Your inside ankle is higher, which is this one, higher than your outside ankle. So usually I'll do something like that to let me know that this is where the foot fits and then have a triangle and then you can add once you become better with feet you just add a little more shapes to make it look like a foot now if that leg was coming out more this egg oval would just be a little longer like that and then same thing with this put your knee a circle for your knee and then down cylinder and then your foot again that that um half triangle then there's your crotch here, and then if you wanted to do that again, like somebody squatting, same thing here, like that. And then that upside down house actually would be like this, a drew through, like that. And it would take on a different shape, but the only reason you would squat is if you have something on your back. Or you were doing like the sumo wrestler, he'd be bent over with his arms coming down and you'd see that head again. And that, I don't want to keep drawing because you, 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 you lose it. I'm sure you're losing it with all these lines, but I just wanted to show you how to get those legs. So, and then of course I said the head. If you put your neck here, if you put your head up here, he looks like he's just straight up looking and talking to you. But if you drop that head, or should I say where the chin is, if the chin is right here, this is your chin, right here. Bring that chin down more. It looks like he is kind of attack, you're ready to attack. Think about a cat, a cat always get down low right before he attacks. So if you bring that head down here into that shoulder, instead of above it, then it looks more like he's about to attack. Because if you have your shoulder, shoulder right here is your arms is your shoulder your collarbone collarbone you can have your head up above the shoulders which is usually what our heads are when we're just standing around talking to each other and then you can drop the head down to give it more of that aggressive stance so you just your chin is up here you just drop your chin down here not too far down now because it gets kind of crazy. But when you drop your chin down, is your neck, you have to raise your shoulders up just a little bit. And that gives him that, that hunching over appearance like he's about to attack. Or just strike a, strike a pose. It just looks better when you're doing that. So the lower you drop your head, but you don't want your head like way down here because that's just, you have to, your neck has got to connect to that. The center of your shoulder so if your head is way down here how's your neck going to connect so your neck is right here the center of the chest you know that you have that i don't know what that part is called that little dip in your adam's apples right here so your neck comes here so you can only go as low as your neck your chin can go only go so so low so low so low before it kind of looks really weird. And I don't I really don't think your chin can go past this 
this your collarbone unless your whole body's bending over. So yeah, that's just a given. I might be wrong, but yeah, don't bring it down any lower than past the collarbone. So let's get through this. And this is pretty much done already, but you know, you just kind of add your muscles. And this arm is going back. And let's 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 do that. So we have your again, we have your chest and all of this, your delts. And you have one arm going straight down, your delt, you have one arm going back, and you're just foreshortening it. You're just shorting, shorting, shortening it. Why can I not talk? So you have your delt right here, which is this, and you have this cylinder which goes back and goes smaller like that. So again, which is my tool that I'm going to keep using. This is straight down. This is can't focus it in the camera. Straight up, but if you if you tilt it back, you see it's this is wider than this end. If it was longer, you you'd really be able to see. So basically, that's all that you're doing your cylinders, and that's why I say circle, square, and triangle. Everybody should be practicing that stuff because that's all your legs and arms are are your cylinders. So you've got this one going back, and they have the other one coming up forward, you have that circle and the cylinder comes forward and then you have that circle there too. Always do your circles at the end, that way you'll know or you, you'll constantly be reminded that it is a cylinder and it is going backwards or forwards and you just erase this piece in there so you have that and your bicep goes in there and then you there's your hand however you want to put your hand. So that's basically um, your for shortening and then of course you erase this and I need to break out another red pencil because these the erasers I've never seen an eraser go so fast the pencil you still have plenty of pencil but you have no eraser so red pencil company make better erasers yeah stop playing with that one so we have this yeah so from this point it's just basically um, doing your muscles, getting your muscles right. And I'm going to do a video about doing shredded characters, basically why not to do shredded characters. But for my action pose positions, I kind of like to do my shredded characters to a degree to show you where the muscles are. But every muscle is different. Not really. Not every every person's body is different. Muscles are the same. It's just some are bigger, some are smaller, some are higher, some are lower. Like trying to do the ultimate abs, and to do the abs, this circle here, this this first circle that I had, and you have your um, this the mountain right here. You come down from this circle. That's your first set. Your first set is larger than your second set. You don't want to have this way, way too high, but you can throw another one in there just because, but that's your first set. Second set is a little bit smaller. It comes around like that. And your third set are actually the ones that go down into the crotch. So your hips are like this. Your waist is like that. And it goes down into that. So actually, but where that, that... Where that, oh my God, that rib cage curves around, that's your first set. Actually, your first set of abs. Second set, there. And then this comes in. This brush is kind of dying. And a lot of people will play with the abs. And I'll show you in a second. But once this comes around, this goes in like that. A lot of people play with it because here's your chest. And they'll do this. They'll do the extra uh, bulk for the ribs. And I do that sometimes too, just to give it an extra set of abs. And then some people put another one here just to make it look even more muscular, which it does. But And some people have that body shape to do that. And then your waist comes down and goes in the crotch because your legs are attached. Your buttocks comes around here. 
and then your legs are attached to that. But unless you twist in the right position, it just all looks like legs. Yeah, and there's some waist in there somewhere. There's some waist in here somewhere. And then, because the waist is basically the buttocks. And then, because when I first started drawing, I used to miss doing this all the time. And my characters were really short. And I kept looking at it and saying, why are they so short? What's missing? But it was this little extra piece because your love handles come in. You still have a little piece of waist there. And then your legs come. So back to this. This might be a... Well, it's 20 minutes already, so no, it's not going to be a 10-minute video because of all the explanations. So the leg, the foot, it bends here, comes up and stops. Remember what I say? You have the calf, you have the ankle, and I really don't do ankles. I'm going to do a leg video uh, soon, soon to show you more muscles in the, in the uh, legs, but this is the main one you want to deal with, that big muscle, and then it curves, comes around, and it curves up like a teardrop, and then there's another one that's higher up here, and then it makes a V right here, and then it goes into the knee, same thing from here, and it's just weird, when you, when you turn your legs, it all takes different form, it takes different shapes, so yeah. That's why I don't usually do too much leg muscles, just the average shape, which is what the video is going to be about. All you need is just the muscular shape. You don't need thousands of muscles because you might get it wrong and somebody might say, hey, that's wrong. And you're like, oh, okay. And my hands. So, and the hands are just squares, basically, but they, they, what? They take on different shapes, different shapes. How are you explaining that? I don't know, so I'm not going to try to explain it until I can actually explain it. Big shoulders, give them a little bit more shoulder up in there, center line, which is a lot of times it's all for me because one side of the neck is going to be too wide because that center line determines where the center of that face is unless you're turning. So this has got to come out more. That's got to go in a little bit more. Keep him centered. Keep his chin. Where did I put his chin at? Drop his chin down a little bit more. Center that line. Up. And around. So that neck is going to come straight down. And that will determine the mass of a person, how strong a person is. Because if you do a head like this, and you have a small neck like that, then this guy is pretty much a weakling. So what you do is the sides of the face like this. Just bring that neck straight down like that. That gives him a little more power. So if I do the other side of the neck, you see that, okay, this guy's got a nice little neck. So if I put a big shoulder on him, you see the guy's kind of strong and powerful. If I'm trying to do a Hulk type character, then I will bring the neck out more like that massive neck. You can always strengthen muscle in your neck, but you can't muscle get muscles in your head and your face. You can tighten stuff up, but it's not going to grow. You've never seen a bodybuilder with a big, huge head. But you got to have it right. You can't have too big of a, too thick of a neck and a small head that, unless you've got, you know, some freaky looking guy. But yeah, that's the way you can make your person look muscular. But don't put your neck, unless you're doing a woman, then you can do something like that. And the shoulder, small shoulders. That's more of a woman's neck. And then I'll just point give her more of a pointy chin and more of a, uh, a egg shaped head. Whereas a man, I would try to keep it more rectangle. I'll give a woman, definitely a woman, a, a egg shape with a pointy chin and slim neck that curves out like that. Versus the man, I'll bring it and I'll do this lump right there. And I'll bring it straight down, bring it straight down and then do this with a man and that's his shoulders. Whereas a woman, I'll bring it 
and curve it like that. It's just like a smooth curve line. So yeah, sorry I don't do a lot more women, but YouTube likes to monetize your stuff and thinking you're drawing naked women and it's just anatomy. So I'm going to work on another channel or have my own personal website where um, I can do stuff that YouTube won't allow me to do. So on this one, I think I'm pretty much secure on drawing the body. So I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. So what I'm gonna do is the hands. In ink off camera, and I'm just gonna ink this whole thing, give them a little more lat, give them a little more lat, make them a little more wider. He is a he is a bad old kind of superhero character. And then this one here. Yeah, so um yeah that's about all i'm gonna do in the drawing stage you have enough and the hands just do the hands real quick hands are basic especially fists hands are what kind of hand am i gonna do i'm gonna do one up one down just put your thumb when, whenever i do a hand usually i'll do the oval but now more kind of the square and then just do the thumb under here the thumb comes down like an l like that and then you have your um fingers two three four but they go down at an angle like that this is the highest point this one and this one down and you can either curve it this way or curve it that way usually I'll curve it that way and then this finger is shorter so you'll see the bottom of that and you might see the bottom of some of these but if you do if you if you do you won't see much bottom finger as in if here's the here's the with my light here's my fist and you see some of the bottom of these that you'll see because this one is always shorter when you make a fist this one doesn't come down as far as these you'll always see the bottom of that that um, finger if this was working a little better I would show you more it's working pretty fairly good now. Like the, and I believe it's probably because the, the fist has to tuck in like that. The fist has to tuck in so that it gives it a little room for the fist to tuck in. And if you keep it at an angle, and then you'll see some of the palm. But a lot of times, you can black that in. Now, if you drew that and you flipped it over, that's the same thing that, that I'm going to do here. And then your wrist would be however you had, however you had your wrist and bicep like that but the hand it once you start twisting a little bit more it adds more you have to add more to it like you might see the side of the finger and this part here if I if I if I twisted it a little bit so it would be more like like that what kind of example is that Brian By twisting it, shifting it to where it's not straight in front of you, you would see that finger come up and then twist into there. That thumb would come out like that. And that would be more of a, um, a blast kind of twist because it would be going at an angle instead of straight at you. And I'm saying that now my pen is not really wanting to write. But yeah, it would be more like that. And then, you know, the bicep is going to be here because that's the left hand, right hand. It's one of those hands. So, yeah, quick tutorial of that. And so I'm going to ink this off camera. And then we'll be right back to see the finished product. All right, so here we have the final product inked and ready to rumble. But I'm looking at this and it's kind of a, a nice pose. That it needs something else so I have decided to do some little special effects around it because it's too, too good to just sit there in space and just take up space so let me do some special effects and then I'll use that as a thumbnail so 
let's go. veins in his arms, uh, a little more striations in his chest, some, some veins in his shoulders, so to give him that extra oomph when he powers up. So that's it for this video, and uh, as always, subscribe. I'm still working on more videos. I'm still doing my uh, How to Do Comics from Start to Finish series. I've just been lazy about that, and doing some more things that um, some people have requested. So with that said, I want to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And if you want to see me do something, uh, email me. E email me. I'll leave my email address right here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. So thanks again for watching and enjoying. See you later.